Now let's investigate this Russia example. Uh, here we see these linear edges looking like the area has maybe been dredged or uh, maintained or worked over in some sense, possibly just by modern crews, possibly by something else. We've got these multiple linear paths, many linear paths and angles in the area. So we will go check this out. And for reference, I want to show this image once more just to uh, see these linear edges here. Uh, that's kind of similar to what I'm talking about in this Russian one here and here especially looking kind of similar to uh, to what we see here with uh, this and this especially so this doesn't look like a natural feature of the river so it's most likely some kind of dredging and it's just who, who did the dredging and how and for what purpose is the main question for me, uh, bearing some resemblance to this area in uh, near San Francisco Bay and then also to this other part of Russia uh, somewhat nearby. And so we have these uh, this natural river, right? And or uh, apparently natural river, probably natural. And then we have also this path down the middle of it like the edges of a, a dredged path, which sometimes follows the river. And then here we see it going off and doing it, doing its own thing. Uh, so that may be a similar type of uh, um, application of uh, whatever is creating these, this edge here. It might be a spoil bank from the material the dredge kicked up. Um, modern or um, or artificial weirdness, not sure. And if it's modern, I, I would it would make sense that it's for like depth and transportation, like just to they regularly dredge it potentially to uh, to keep s sediment from piling up and to keep it deep enough for boats to pass through. That would make sense. So maybe this this edge here is um, is that type of activity. Not sure. Uh, we will go there and see in Google Earth. So let's do that. And it is right in this general area of uh, up to the northeast of the Black Sea in Russia. So right here at the top of this little lake. And so here's where that still image is and straight bit here let me get a different year uh, first of all the area has lots of faint straight lines you can see that one and plenty of curves and uh, well yeah plenty of straight lines angles some angular coast here potentially uh, even here maybe so there are hallmarks of other artificial stuff in the area. So that is to be noted. And yeah, I'll cover the rest of the area in a minute, but let's look at this particular example. So here we have this edge here. Man, I almost even want to say that's like some type of image issue, but I think it is there. Yeah. And, hmm. Seemingly continuing like here. Might even be like a shadow or something. Hmm. Hard to tell just from that image, but we have this straight edge here, right? Fairly straight. And certainly this whole edge here with, you know, these thin uh, interior channels, and then this parallel one, which does meander a bit, but it's fairly straight for a while, certainly parallel, and then also like this, uh, looks like it extends over here and continues, maybe like that. 
Um, so, and then where else? We've got this line right here, you see that? And we've got this, you see that straight line and faint one right here? And possibly continuing there. And then we've got this to consider. So lots of thin, so it looks like this continues like up here, perhaps. And this noteworthy, not perfectly straight, I would say, fairly straight, at least. And lots of faint indications of straightness, like straight parallel lines. And you get better contrasts or different contrasts in some of the other years. This is interesting right here. These right there, right there, right there, right there. Maybe modern paths. Let's look back in time. Oh, okay. Must be. Yeah. Looking like significant. Uh, changes to the water level. Okay. Singularity is interesting. Uh, so is that modern creation or is that being revealed as the water level recedes? You know what I mean? This. Hmm. And of course all of this stuff, all of that, maybe modern, um, let's try and figure that out, okay, so yeah, considerable changes to the water level in this area. Hmm. It's maybe modern stuff. Oh, interesting. See these arrows? Like this arrow is pretty well defined. That's pretty cool. Um Okay, so this may just be a modern construction technique or something. Hmm. So let's see when these arrows are going to show up. 2011. Um, are they there in this photo? That's too difficult to tell. Oh, you kind of see one like that, maybe. Then no arrows in this photo, so likely those arrows are new, I think. 2010, we're seeing quite a bit of angular stuff, I would say, here. Okay, well... Uh, it might take some time to get a definitive answer, but uh, best guess is that most or all of that stuff is modern with some potential for slight potential for weirdness, but uh, okay. Just giving you a look at the surrounding area. Let's turn my place marks on. So once more, this is where the still image was. This linear edge. Even stuff like this, that, and we kind of see parallel lines this way, perhaps, this guy, and then let's look at this general, uh, well here we have 
accenting multiple lines like that. I think this one, something like this maybe. This, this, some faint stuff, but you can still see it. You can definitely see some of these in other photos that come out clearer. This kind of arc here. And this line's still there in earlier photos. Yeah, nice and crisp. This line, maybe, might even be like a vehicle track or something, or like a boat, like bumping against the bottom or something. So some of this could be continual modern dredging of the area, like uh, continual ongoing. Let's see, seeing a straight line there. How does that change over time? Doesn't really. Okay. So 2005, we're still seeing some of these straight lines. It's looking like some tire tracks in the area. So possibly some heavy modern work going on. Um, lots of little angular bare patches, definitely. Those could be either modern or strangeness and here we see some angular stuff, uh, quite a bit of patchy angular patterns like we kind of like we've seen in other places. Uh, let me get my place marks going. So the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but this linear stretch here, this stretch of river just strikes me as awkward. So let me just get a good look at that. So the river kind of goes like this or whatever. And then It, uh, it's straight for a while here and that may be a modern edit to just to make transportation easier but then it kind of dead ends over here or maybe there's some port or whatever over here or launch point or something and then they built this for easier access or something maybe let me just one by one hit all my place marks and then maybe cruise cruise around a little bit freestyle so some lines and angularity here could be modern uh, continues what continues so we've got thin path across streets so it's a thin path now and back in the day it was in 2005 it was this path so whatever that is and then we see these obviously fine uh, these parallel marks and also this way perhaps and like this and this kind of stuff so this might be modern work looking kind of fresh and newly formed Angular, so I'm referring to, I guess, mm, getting a cloud right now, but, oh, I think I mean uh, like this, this kind of angular, a little bit. So this path continues over here and maybe goes up this way. I like this. And we see some angular stuff here. 
this guy. It's unclear, I would say, how much of this is modern and how much is a uh, somewhat angular coastline. Does it change? Not really. How much is modern and how much has been there oh, quite a while? So these are examples of little ch -ch -ch -ch, like which uh, like um, gouge maneuvers potentially or something similar which uh, formed the the coastline. So these bare bare spots uh, may be indications of that. And here we see just long lines and like this and. So that's something which might lead me to believe that this riverway is phony in some sense, or sculpted, or re-sculpted. Abrupt linear edge across where? Um, okay, I think I mean like here. So let me get rid of that. Yeah, like see, it's subtle, but it even continues there. Like some kind of linear feature. Possibly continuing there. Uh, but like this. And let's look back. Mm, not seeing it quite as much. I'm seeing something else though. Where was the place mark? Oh, it was right there. So it's like up like this, maybe. Kind of seeing it a little bit. Um, but I, I'm seeing other stuff as well, like this, this. Yeah, so they kind of fade out by 2019, by 2005. Some of this stuff is still pretty clear, like this. And here's that straight stretch. Could look at that. And obviously, uh, straight lines and stuff. So let me get those place marks back on. And linear thing, linear path. So multiple linear gaps, what do we got here? Okay, so this is looking like it may be new. I'm referring to these, one, two, three, four, like that. But according to the photos, that was, I don't know, is this underwater maybe? Looking like it. So, hmm, either these are being revealed as the coastline changes or possibly more likely it's just modern something or other. Yeah, because 2010 looks like they're pretty new. Yeah, so whatever that is, maybe they're planting trees or aquatic something or other. Okay, interesting. Let's uh, get the rest of these place marks. Linear thing, linear path. So what year are we talking about? Okay, so linear path, linear thing, this guy. Quick look back. Let's go to 2010. I'm not really seeing it. 2011, we see it, yeah, and this and this, for sure, like stuff like that, and this. So the question is, is that just like modern tractors or something, you know? Mm. Or is it, mm, I think it's likely modern because it doesn't seem to be there in 2005. So 
Yeah, I'm going to say that's new stuff. Okay. Linear stretch over here. So potentially cartoonish river stuff here like this. And then straight for a bit. And even like this, like whatever this is. And this looking like it continues across here. And see the edge of it there, maybe. Short, thin, straight groove. What do we have here? Might be the natural streaks or something. Oh, I think I'm talking about this. Yeah. So this right here. And also this. Some of this stuff may be natural. You see the line there. Let's see this stuff back in time. So it's somewhat angular here, which is interesting. Almost looking angular here. Maybe not. Here, kind of angular and patchy, potentially. Might just be the image. So I guess the idea is the forest is growing in, and these lines are modern work or something like this maybe like aquatic um, plants here or this may be all land like sand or something i don't know but it looks like the forest is spreading out this way and as it does maybe modern activity comes and does stuff okay All the place marks, line path, yeah, this. So this fine path has been there a little while. Kind of looking angular and chunky here, this edge of this thing. Right. Something like this. Obviously artificial, likely modern. Uh, yeah, I think it's 100% modern. I don't think it was there in 2005. 2006, it's not there. 2011. Yeah, I think here we see it starting to be built, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah. There's a modern channel for you. Cool beans. Good to know. Arc of tree growth, I think I kind of got that. Many linear paths in the area. Edge. So abrupt linear edge across. I think I mean this. Like this. Possibly. Like that. Maybe continuing like a faint ridge of trees almost. Maybe there. Maybe not. So it would be like here. Can I see a faint path maybe? And yeah, there. So 
So again, the patchy kind of angularity of it. It's a little awkward, potentially. All right. Parallel lines across. Mm. Oh, these, good chance that's modern, I would say. Hmm, they may be there. No, I think it's modern. Okay. Linear. These may be sketchier examples. Cartoonish river system, maybe. So, let me just uh, see if I got all my place marks. This kind of thing. Wedge or swept arc. So, I think it's okay. So, like, Kind of like this idea, like straight edge, outer curve, straight edge, like that, potentially. So, gotta look back in time to see for sure. Well, that's still there in 2005. This, yeah, kind of looks like it's still there. And with some other parallel lines. Interesting. And what else in the area? I think I got most everything I want to show here. And maybe a quick at some a quick look at some neighboring areas as well. I think we got this. That. Okay, probably good enough. And it's uh, it's nearby to this one we were looking at in the last video, which is uh, this one for comparison. Like these, uh, or this one up here. Yeah, like these, uh, like this dredged river. So this bank here uh, is probably some type of modern dredging. Just uh, noteworthy, I guess. Actually, let's make sure we take a quick look in time. So no change really since 2007 at least. So I would say there's a chance that these are older channels or at least artificial weirdness in some sense. And yeah, just a little strange, potentially parallel lines here maybe. Uh, kind of alternating banks. So, um, just for reference. Okay, and then I think now I want to go to a different example. So let's do that and check out which one is next. So we saw this, similar to this kind of. Papua, let's check this out. So, Goofy Path continues. All right. Yes, yeah, so here we are in Papua, just to get our bearings here. Um, we're in this part of Papua, like the upper part of this little island thing. 
and Goofy Path continues. Oh, okay, it's over here. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about this right here, and it goes like this, and you see the edges of it, and it continues like kind of faintly see it in the tree line. See it there, kind of faintly, but it's there. And then kind of see the edges of it here and here. And it kind of curves a little bit and then continues over here. So looking back, 2006, a little fainter, but you still kind of see it. Think certainly over here still. Unfortunately, we only get two looks, but it's potentially a goofy path. Um, and just in general, the proportions of the river system here are uh, just subjectively cartoonish, like the Sunder bands and stuff. Uh, in a lot of these areas, I'm not getting great uh, image resolution, so I can't really give it a thorough looking over. Like, it's just super grainy, you know? So I can't really verify. Or look for any artificial stuff. Just kind of... grainy and low resolution. All right. But uh, let's go back to that place marked area. And what else did I want to show in the area? Angular tree line, edge of cartoonish riverway. So we have this uh, riverway or former riverway and then like an angular edge to it here I would say and some other angular stuff like right here clearly angular I would say for sure and then anything else so people here Maybe. Let's look back in time real quick. No changes. Similar still. Looking pretty similar. So this is like an old cartoonish river. It's like not wet right now. Maybe it uh, depends on the season. Okay, and then definitely these guys, these rectangular patches along this riverway. So, I'm trying to get a, an image without this blockiness, it's kind of distracting. <laughs> Ooh, lovely. Perfect. All right, well, whatever. Uh, so referring to this rectangular patchiness here along the river and clearly like right here and here, kind of an artificial pattern, just a little weird. Maybe some angular stuff faintly here. Kind of seeing some faint angular patterns. That might just be the like, uh, coloring and the image rendering. But definitely these guys, these rectangular patches. And then what else? Angular tree line. So, uh, so this tree line here kind of somewhat angular, potentially cartoonish, 
I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's look back in time. See if we get a good look at these rectangular patches. Because they could be modern. Yikes, man. <laughs> just where I want to look. It's just a block. Only where I want to look. Okay, well, uh... Actually, in that older photo, we kind of got a, a hint of it. Uh, <laughs> bummer. All right, that's annoying. I can see there's a hint of it right there, the, the rectangles. So it might be the same thing. So unfortunately, I can't say for sure whether that's modern or not. But definitely lots of angularity and straight lines in the area. And let me show you a couple other things in the vicinity. This long straightish path here. So a long wide scale like this is what I'm referring to. Like, And then like here. This pale uh, stripe and not quite sure what it is. We see some oogly woogly patterns and the stripe continuing and kind of uh, broken up and offset continuing over here and pretty far. Continuing, continuing, continuing. It looks like it kind of stops over there. So pretty long line, just giving you a feel for the area. And we have this pattern as well. Maybe modern, maybe not. But as far back as we go, we see it. 2012, that doesn't, doesn't really tell us too much. Faint linear streaks. I mean, yeah, parallel lines, whole area. So, here. Um, okay. So the whole area is pretty heavily worked over, and then I was just, obviously some, what is this, modern? <coughs> Excuse me, modern stuff. So maybe they're creating most or some of these patterns or all of it. Uh, it's definitely worth noting, like all this stuff, and then The river systems themselves. Uh, somewhat clean and angular and potentially cartoonish. Some straight lines. So that is this little portion of Papua. With this little path here. Feels like that, maybe another one there. Potentially natural even. Who knows? Parallel angular stuff, kind of, maybe. All right, let us go to a different place. Mauritania, okay, I'm not gonna show you this area, but I just, just, um, like kind of like a checklist of uh, things to look for in cartoonish rivers. Uh, one thing is um, a straight line like um, across the uh, river streaks or the former um, 
paths of the river, like the what I call streaks or the ridges or coastal dunes or whatever, former river banks. So sometimes you'll see like a linear thing, like um, going straight across it. And that may be just one of these subtle little hallmarks, but I don't want to use this example as a strong one because there's so much modern activity nearby. Um, incidentally, these people seem to just be making like random stone circle shapes. I don't know why. I, I mean, I don't know if it's a stone circle actually, but just a lot of that in the area, just kind of blobby uh, enclosed areas in weird shapes. Um, there may be some method to it, but uh, just wondering if some of this angularity we see here is uh, indicative of a phony uh, river, um, or like a mim mimicked river streaks. Even the straight line here, maybe. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take you here, so let's go to the next example. Next example is in Ukraine. So I think this is the last one I want to show in the video. Yeah. So uh, I already talked about this a little bit, but briefly, um, this river, the idea is that apparently this map shows this star fort thing or this um, like old timey uh, building or city. And then in modern times, it just looks like this. So the idea is that someone just plopped uh, fake river banks over it, or like mimicked river trajectory, these streaks. So that is only if this is the same place, and I'm not certain that it is. I don't, like if I, if I knew what that said, I might be able to find it easier, but um, in Google Earth we don't see any remnants of like star forts or anything in the area, not that I saw anyways. Uh, maybe we would, like here, potentially. Mm. So this may be a cartoonish river, maybe, uh, or like a fake phony uh, part of, or phony former riverways here. Uh, so we will go look at this. This is those two superimposed. I mean, they kind of look the same, uh, but there are a lot of river loops that look like this, I would say, and it's in uh, Ukraine. So let's go over there and look at that and then some surrounding area as well. So uh, I remember that place mark had new earth in it. There we go. So this is it. And for reference, we are up above, up north of the Black Sea in Ukraine here. Uh, so here's this whatever reservoir, reservoir and then these streaks. So I'm not 100% sold that, number one, that it's the same location, and I'm also not 100% sold that the map is a legit map. Um, some indications of, like, awkward angularity here, potentially, like these lines across, potentially weird, like these parallel lines this way are potentially weird. I guess, like, the bottom of the star 40 thing would have extended, like, over here, and I mean, actually, that kind of resembles, could be a coincidence, like this, kind of resembles one of those star fort things that protrudes like that, maybe even like that, maybe, mm. Just this uh, pentag pentagonal feature is 
slightly uh, indicative of that, so I could lend some credence to it. Uh, looking for any other star 40 stuff. Seeing some like kind of linear stuff here. Let's look back in time and see how early we can get. The block of blur, blur block. So we do have these uh, these linear channels here, which are interesting. Um, here we see like remnants of some kind of linear thing, and I'd like to compare that to. Uh, here's a good look. These linear paths here. These. Uh, get rid of my place marks. There, there, and maybe even like an indication of it there. So there may be like a former Starfort city here. Maybe um, that got a bunch of dirt plopped on top of it and, and it got styled into these streaks. Maybe. Potentially. So just looking for any like straight lines and angles or anything. And obviously there's going to be some modern activity. That's pretty cool. Plane. That's super cool. Uh, yeah, like parallel lines, like lines going across like that, you kind of see. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to answer that conundrum or that Star Forge story with the map, but I want to compare these uh, linear features here to some stuff nearby. So uh, let me see if I can find it. Strippy land. So this, first of all, um, obviously this could be modern jetty work or something like that. I don't know that three would be entirely practical and like, I mean, yeah, these may be just multiple barriers built to, uh, you know, for whatever reason you build barriers by the coast, combat erosion or make the, the t um, the water calmer or whatever. Uh, yeah, just this, uh, this is just looking a little similar to uh, what we have up here, the, uh, these two linear bits of channel here. And then there's something else nearby. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it right away. Um, oh, I think it's over here. Hmm. Uh, okay, well, uh, I know we do see this um, this eyebrow thing, which is somewhat similar, I would say. So let me let it load real quick. So this is what I'm referring to, like just like a, a strip of land. It's kind of awkward. So there we see a better look of it like that. And then another one like this, like just kind of silly and awkward, like goofy fingers of land. So I wonder whether, um, that's a good look, that, I wonder whether this stuff is modern or part of uh, some kind of older thing. Here we're seeing like a thin border on the interior and some parallel stuff. All right, well, whatever that is. And let me just do a quick, show you the one other eyebrow one more time that I saw somewhere else. So this, I'm not sure what country this is in. 
Uh, oh, Australia, okay. But just that same idea of this finger of land or a finger of groove. So, um, and kind of looking out of place there, if you hide that, just kind of awkward. And then I would argue potentially straight things here and also potentially sculpted coastline, possibly, possibly. But, uh, yeah, let's go back to the Ukraine example and look at those fingers of land. So if we get oriented here. So these things, just these fingers of land, these ones happen to be straight and those other eyebrow ones are like curved, but they irk me a little bit. Okay, now let's uh, explore the surrounding area, see if we can't draw any conclusions, <clears throat> excuse me, conclusions, or uh, just get a general feel for what's going on. So linear edge here, slightly awkward. Yeah, pretty well defined there. Okay, linear, what is this? We have this, this stuff. What am I talking about? I think I mean this. Yeah, like this as well. Let's see if those are modern. Well, it looks like it's kind of still there in 2006, like this. So, yeah, some linear stuff, like even this, like that, see that? Kind of looking like it extends across, okay, like that for sure, like just buzzed right through, could be modern for transportation or whatever, this is like a rectangular patch. And place marks, place marks. Okay, I guess I have some more up here. So let's look at these. Uh, maybe linear channel, a little bit, kind of there as well. These kind of linear features. Can't really say for certain. That might that may be natural. Maybe an angular thing there. Place marks. What do we got? Linear thing. So with this. Looking the same since. 2007, and then I'm sure there's plenty of that stuff in the area, like just like that. And linear edge continues. Linear edge of what? Okay, linear edge, this. Interesting. So, I think I'm talking about like this. A large scale thing here. Maybe we can get a better look in a different year. That's decent. It's a linear something there. Maybe continuing there, maybe not. Okay, and then this edge. Get rid of that place mark. 
Yeah, maybe continuing like that. All right. Might be everything I have in this area. But we could find more stuff if we tried. And I bet you we would come to the same spot where we're not sure if it's modern or weirdness. And this guy strikes me as a little odd, I would say. And this, definitely a straight guy here. Somewhat awkward. Could be natural. I mean, maybe. Some possible patchy angularness in this area here. Okay, so I think let's bounce out of this area and then maybe I'll just show a similar, a couple similar examples like over here. So we've got this linear channel thing here, which I would not say is for transportation, but it is certainly linear. So that's, um, hmm. That's the thing, it's not perfectly linear, I guess. It's looking and like this edge and this, are looking kind of regular and straight. I guess this isn't perfectly linear. It's uh, almost. We have this line across like this, or ridge or whatever this is, like that. And even continuing over here, maybe. Stuff like that is kind of weird. A lot of these lines. Maybe that. Yeah, it's still there. Not completely linear, looks like. Who knows? The angular patchiness, that could certainly all be modern or otherwise, like this stuff. Uh, nice and cloudy. Boy, Google Maps is a little finicky today. Oh, just this right here, this channel like dredged in the, in the water, kind of like the Lake June in one, you know? Anyways, that could be modern, certainly another one here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, looking like it goes up here and then this may even be the responsible dredge. line. Okay. I think I got all these. And some other ones up here. Okay, just like this stuff. I think I covered this area in a previous video. So I might keep it short, but like this, like there. Eh. I mean, obviously, it's just an extension of this. Might be modern, who knows? That's annoying. All right. Yeah, like these straight little bits. 
some some of these straight bits like they don't fit the bill for dredging because they don't seem to serve any particularly um, pragmatic uh, function like transportation or whatever some of these maybe this guy All right, well that's the surrounding area, and I think that's enough for, uh, that's all the examples I have uh, on cartoonish rivers. So, in the next video we will talk about wildlife uh, preserves and the patterns we see there. Yes, we will, and I hope you join me and I'm getting distracted and feeling tempted to cover more material right now. Um, just kind of a nearby area with more stray stuff. Um, but, um, all right, I'll see you later. Bye.